Hey, orange one here. So we are really irradiated right now. I'm kind of done getting irradiated like this. So I think I'm just going to use the um, purifier smart smart shot on our radiogenic. Right, that's the one. It's not the because there's two radio traits. I think I have. I think it's yeah. I think it, just want to double check. Yeah, it's radiogenic, right? That's the one I'm trying to get rid of. No, and that's not the one that I want. It's the uh, minor radioactivity. That's the one that I want to get rid of. That's what I thought. I thought it was something else. Okay, minor radioactivity. I guess, okay. Um, I also lost pain resistant and albino there. That's weird. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Very strange. I mean, I'm cool with it. And I just really need to get rid of that because we're, as I said, very irradiated right now. <laughs> like, if you look at our Geiger counter, it's 240 on me. And then how much on my friend here? Eh, he's not that irradiated. It's basically just me. I'm just all super irradiated over here. <laughs> what about the ground right here? I just want to make sure I'm not standing on somewhere. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so I think that we should be able to also maybe get some cybernetics here. I don't know. We'll see what the game gives us. Ignore. I'm fine with basically all damage that we're going to get as long as we're not getting irradiated anymore. I wonder if we're going to mutate as well, because we could with the amount of radiation that we have. Like if I... I'm actually going to take a couple of those Prussian blues... Because we need to get rid of that radiation. Uh, what was it that got dropped here? Just bionic? Okay. So, not in the mood. That's weird. Oh, mood swing. <laughs> I see. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to wait that out. <laughs> Am I on still? Yeah, okay. Um... Yeah, I don't think there's much I can really do about that. I mean, I could try and make my character a little bit happier, I suppose. Um, can't have any of that, though, unfortunately. Weird that it lets me drink ammonia. <laughs> Super gross. Um, I could also just snack on some of that. <laughs> I think our character can handle it. Oh no, I can't. It looks like we can't handle eating the raw meat. <laughs> We're not getting parasites though. Can you do this? No, you can't. Seriously, we're gonna have to wait for quite a while it looks like. It's unfortunate. Though I am pretty happy with... Um... Here we go. Pretty happy with the fact that we've gotten rid of that mutagen stuff. I think we might be able to get some good bionics. Um, that's kind of like the plan right now is get good bionics slash martial arts books is what I'm hoping for. And it's a shame that, that we kind of wasted that time there. Oh, okay. Um, oh, what's this? Muscle augmentation. That I don't think I have. I'm, yes, I definitely want that. Um, I mean, that I don't think they can really use, but it's a, it's a good bionic. I'm going to take it in hopes that eventually they are able to use those. <laughs> um, I also have a ton of stuff on me I don't really need to be carrying. Yeah, I like all that. I kind of want to clean that muscle augmentation and get that installed if we can. Um, I'm going to hold on to those as well. Here, let's hold on to that. We don't really need these or any of that right now. I was thinking about just going crazy with the purifier, but I don't want to get rid of all of our good traits, so <laughs> I decided against that. Um, hmm. I was trying to drive up here to get to this bunker. Yeah, because it's probably going to have a, a place for us to do some work. But before we go anywhere, let's actually get that washing kit out and, and wash our, our stuff. And I kind of, I want to get that CBM installed if it, if it lets me. 
I really like that cybernetic having a little bit more strength. Actually, you know, also fix up our backpack. And I think we have some gear that I should fix up as well. We'll, we'll have this be a little bit of a self-care episode. I think that we've been doing a lot more of just like going off and fighting things. Man, we just keep on scratching our torso and messing up this, this washing. Just wash that for now. Yeah, and then you can get that done. It's, our character is very itchy. Um... Oh, we are exhausted. Well, we better sleep then. <laughs> uh, but let's actually try and get the CVM fixed up, and uh, then we'll go to sleep if it lets me. Yeah, cool. How much longer until bedtime? Soon. Oh, what? I dropped our gun. Let's just have it in our inventory. Did I actually mend the thing? No, I don't think I did. Come on, mend that, please. Yeah, I think that um, having a little extra strength is going to... It, does that boost our health if it's the cybernetic strength? I think it does. That would be pretty sweet. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think that this character at this point, we've kind of gotten to the point where... Uh, all we can really do is collect, like... CBMs and stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And then, do I have... I'm just curious about what other CBMs we have around here. If I try and look at those pouches again. I gave me a list of them. Um, I mean, yeah, none of them are absolutely amazing things. I think I've looked at this list many times before. I kind of want the combat C CBM. I think that I passed it up now. Um, almost positive that I did that. And I'm regretting it now. Okay, so that's packed. Go ahead, activate it. Yep, that sounds good to me. And I'm actually going to just move the car over just a little bit. Just up a little bit from here. And I think we're going to need to get our, give our character a little rest, so maybe we could, uh, before we do that, have some water or tea. Actually, let's have tea, um, because we're trying to make our health not be as terrible as it's been. It's been pretty bad. I've been not taking care of this character's health too, too well recently. <laughs> um, okay. Can I have some of that tea? Yeah, here it is. Gonna drink that. And I think we can cook the liver that we have here. Go ahead and cook like a ton of it up so that we can eat that. Oh, I fell asleep apparently. Uh, where is it? Um, yeah, here. Go ahead and finish cooking that, please. We will go to sleep soon. <laughs> Our character's gonna need it. <laughs> go ahead and just eat all that. Sure, have some canned meat as well. And then, yeah, we'll get some sleep. Uh, yeah, go ahead and turn that off. And I guess that too. Yeah, I think that, you know, this, this character is, um... I do want to kind of play around with their melee a little bit more because I feel like I was looking at their um, perception and I think that would be kind of cool to do them. I think it's Tai Chi, which is really beneficial from perception. There's not really much else besides like Nitin Ichi Rai, which I would go for. It's just we haven't got the right book for that. <laughs> it's a pretty rare book, so <laughs> I've got a pretty good feeling we're not going to get that anytime soon. We're also exhausted because I think it's not been that long since we've taken all the mutagen that we've been taking. There's a lot going on. <laughs> but at least our car's going to have some battery power. I mean, honestly, I am surprised that we got that exhausted because I didn't think that we would be that, that tired. I knew that we would be tired, but... Now that we don't have the irradiation and we're not going to have the weakness, that's going to be really nice for our stats because all of our stats essentially have been like 
two or three lower than that they really should be. You know? Like, uh, let's have a look, see. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at those stats now. Like, we got our strength of what should be, and our perception's even boosted more than it, what it normally is. Is that due to CVM? I feel like that's due to CVM. Uh, there's a skeletal juggernaut that's out there. Let's go ahead and take care of them. Hello, friend. How are you? Oh, I just completely missed that. <laughs> really? Okay. There we go. <laughs> I just decided to use the power because it's just so fast. You know, we just now have used up a good amount of our power. Yeah, go ahead and close that. Um, and then let's have some battery, right? Yeah, I think that we're living, living pretty comfortably now. I found that that medium storage battery that loads us up all the way every time, so I've been kind of using that to my advantage. Um, so, oh yeah, also I wanted to do that repair work, didn't I? Where was the um, tailoring kit? I should have plenty of thread. I've been collecting stuff, so I've got a pretty good feeling that we'll be able to do the repair work. Because we've got like so much sinew from all the kills that we've been getting recently, basically. It's kind of like what I'm thinking. Um, yeah, go ahead and just repair everything that it lets me. Sure. Okay, what's going on with that? Why can't I repair that more? What do I, I need to repair that with? Um, it says leather. Oh, so I just need some leather. Okay. Let's see what's, what's made out of leather here. Uh, the other pants, or the purse, probably, is the best. Let's go for the purse, because it's in good shape. Where was it? Oh, I passed it already. Cool. We'll wash that, and then we should be able to do our repairs. It's kind of a funny mental image. It's like post apocalyptic survivor taking a purse, cutting it up, and then using it to repair their... <laughs> Um, like, survivor backpack. <laughs> okay, so that was only three. That should be enough to do some basic repair work, though, right? Oh my gosh, no. I need six? Seriously? Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna have to get more leather items. That should be more than enough, right? I mean, pants, I think, give you quite a few pieces. I could be wrong. Oh, I need more water. Really? What about just that? Ah. That's annoying. Okay, well, I guess we don't have enough water to, to do this. <laughs> um. Yeah. Never failed to recover that. Okay, well, let's just get our stuff then and head out then. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess around trying to get leather right now. Let's let's go on our adventure. Let's see if we can get this uh, CBM installed. I just want to make sure that I didn't like drive off without the CBM or anything. No. Yep, it's sterile and it's ready to go. Cool. All right, I'm that that is going to I mean it's not going to like change anything dramatically with this this character, but it's going to be a nice nice addition to their uh, list of abilities, you know. Okay, so uh, pull in like we did last time. We are dead tired, but I don't I don't think we're going to need to do anything about that. Uh, let's just get our crowbar because we're going to need it anyways, and some grenades. And you know what we're gonna do. <laughs> We've done it plenty before. <laughs> okay. Uh, grenades, I think. Like, two grenades is probably enough for the top. And then the bottom, I think we were able to shoot them. 
And we also have that military ID, don't we? Yes, we do. Okay. I also should not be carrying... There's some stuff I could probably dump. Um... I'll get rid of that. Anything else? Yeah, uh... Don't really need that. Truth be told. Or that. Let's see if I can get the last of these things put away. Okay, nope. What about there? No? Okay. Yeah, here. That should be good. Alright, so I think that, yeah, let's, let's, let's do this. Wait, have I already been here? Oh, I've already been here. <gasps> Whoops. It looks like I've been here already. Let's just make sure I've got safe mode on. Oh, okay. What? I've been here recently, didn't I? I went here recently. Sorry. I that must be annoying to watch. It's I've been playing this on and off. <laughs> uh I mean there's so many good bullets here if I really want to take the time to grab all of them. I don't I don't want to. I mean I'm gonna mark it as looted even though it's clearly not been looted. So wait, hold on, that was a bunker. What was it that I was just at? Military bunker, but it's a B. This is a military bunker. That's weird. It, they both are bunkers, but one of them is very different in terms of what's at the bunker. These are outposts, so those won't have like CVM installation things. Hmm. Let's see. If I want to install CBMs, I think our best bet is going back home. Yeah, East had um, Yeah, it's like not that far south from where we're at. But I don't think I want to go south, so maybe we can go exploring up and over here. See what we find. We got a fungal tower there. That might make going for this military outpost kind of annoying, but I think that we can do it. Okay, it's also get rid of our EBM, I suppose. Not get rid of, we'll put it away. Okay. Yeah, why don't we roll out with this stuff? I think that's fine. If I if I find anything to eat, like uh, something that we can kill, then I'll I'll do that. Our character should also get some sleep. Is something also that we still need to do. We're not fully rested. I feel like because I've got you guys with me now, I'll just adventure and I'll I'll get their food later. Okay. So there's this mine here. I suppose I could go into the mine. I mean, it's like, yeah, not super dangerous for us. I don't feel like going into the mine right now. I want more like CBMs and martial arts books. <laughs> That's kind of like really all I want is just being able to do more cool stuff like that. Okay, so what have we got right here? Um, We got the turrets. It looks like I can kind of see them. I'm hearing kaboom. Can I um, let go of the controls and just close that for a little bit? I want to just get into the reality bubble. Northeast hostiles detected. So they're shooting something at something here. You know? Um, so, oh, now we're deafened. Great. Uh, good. Put these in. And let's just, let's see if I can kind of see things from here. What can I see? I can't see my location from here. Can I hit them from 60 away? If I can, I probably should. 
Sorry, now that we've messed up our hearing, you guys won't be able to hear anything that's happening. What's the distance on this? Uh, 40. I can shoot them from 40 away. Uh, let's see. The guns. I know that we have like other things as well. And the laser rifles can't shoot that far, can they? I think the browning shoots really far. Or maybe the ESR. Uh what's um what's the range on this? Maximum range is thirty six. Dang. Okay. Well, that's not going to work. Um, let's see. What else do we have in here? The ESR. I think the ESR might, might be what we're looking for here. Oh, wait. What? Our gun just got dropped down. I thought that we got it from that spot, but whatever. Yeah, it's like not fitting where it was. It's really weird. Um, well, it's gonna be a problem. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Like over capacity or something. Oh, is it because I've got the um the thing in the spot, maybe? I don't know. Like the uh the walking gun thing. Can I can fit that there. Yes, I can actually. Okay, cool. What about that ESR? It's right here. Can I just have a look at it? I just want to see the range on this thing. Maximum range is 60. See, I told I knew it. This is this is a really really accurate gun. If I could ideally repair it a little bit and then shoot those things, that'd be great. And then actually if the fungus is in reality, that's even better. Do we have like a repair kit? Yes, we do. <laughs> nice. Okay. I thought we had one in here. I just wasn't sure if it had like despawned. Oh, this you can use to pry things. Oh, okay. Good to know. That's probably better than the other thing that we've been using. Um, reload it then. And then activate. Yep. We just want it to not be so trashed because it will actually like uh Affect its accuracy. Okay. And then accurized. Okay, so this thing should be super, super deadly. So if I look out here, can I see them? Yes, I can. So if I'm standing here, it says it can't they can't see. Right? I'm safe here. Okay, it looks like I'm safe here. I'm a little warm, but we're safe. Um, and stand back here just to make sure I'm good. Okay, we're good. Yep, both of those are down. Nice. Oh man, this is this is like the perfect weapon for this. Uh, we're gonna need to reload though. Oh, what? I don't have any Winchester Magnums. There's gotta be something else that I have that's comparable. Right? 
I don't have anything. That doesn't seem right. Let's unload that. What bullets do you take? Um, it's got that back in it, but that doesn't really help. <laughs> so 300 Winston Magnums. Yeah, look, we can we can make those. We just need the casings. Okay, well, I should collect those casings then. I don't know if I can you make them individually or do you still need to do like batches of 20? Cuz we might not be able to make more of those. We might not need to seeing how we took out some of them. Uh, let's see. How many do you need? Yeah, actually you can make five. Okay, so I need large rifle primer and copper. I bet I could get that from disassembling some other bullets, can I? Oh, but we probably don't have the right kit for um, doing that. I don't know, do we? It says I can do it with a chemistry set and the hand press that I've got. Sure, okay. Uh, let's take some bullets then. Let's see what ammo do I have. Uh, I'm gonna need large rifle primers, so I don't. I think we're gonna want like that, possibly. And our military rifle might be what we're we're gonna need here. It's been a while since I've actually played with this mechanic. Now I can't disassemble the reloaded. I thought that was the case, but I just wanted to double check. Where's there thousands of bullets that we've been collecting? Oh, there's BMG as well. I have BMG, let's use that. Let's stop messing around. I swear, this, that, was, that was totally right there. <laughs> Okay, where's my BMG? Or was is it the Beretta? Where is it? It's around here somewhere, isn't it? I'm not seeing it. I know I I thought I just was looking at Let's see, C, guns, yeah, here we go, that's it, it's to my southwest. I I can't fire it though, like this, can I? Oh, I can, okay. I need to, uh, table, amount of dirt, broken window, etc. So it looks to me like it's saying that, like, this vehicle kind of works for that definition of things. So if I go like something like that, then I should be able to shoot from it, right? If I open that up and then they can see that location. Hmm. So are, would they shoot that then? Or am I safe? It looks to me like it can see my current location. But it hasn't started to shoot yet. And I'm not sure why. Uh, that, that didn't hit them. Okay. <laughs> I'm just getting a little bit nervous with my friend moving around. I just tell him to like guard that area. Um, let's see. Something I want you to do. Just hold your position. Okay. 
He's still kind of doing that weird jumping around thing. What about here? Can I see him from here? Yes, I can. Okay. Don't go auto, just go se semi-auto. If you don't hit them, you're not going to hit them the second time is what I'm thinking. Can I please hit this thing? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that was a lot of damage. If you didn't see that. Hey, there we go. The two of them are down. That's nice to know. So now we should be able to kind of approach from here, right? Where's that dispatch? The kamikaze drones. Can I shoot it from here? Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. All right. So we just got access to a ton of drones there. Um, a couple other things, you know. But I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, it looks to me like we should be able to approach it now, but we're getting at the half an hour mark. Maybe I'll loot that in the next episode, right? Yeah, I'm going to end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.